I shouldn't, I won't, and I could. So I was going to make this a northern pub on the fit. Oh, oh, still got, do you want to go in? Um, I'm a mess of a human being, let's just take that out. So as I was saying, I was going to make this a Northern Problems video, but then I thought about it and um, some of these topics can't actually be associated with the whole of the North because there's different dialects uh, and I just figured that most of these would apply more to people who are from Yorkshire but not necessarily the North. Hello! And I didn't want any Geordies going, V, E, what are you doing man? I apologise, um, that was an atrocious Geordie accent. Um, yeah, I probably will offend quite a few people throughout this because of my poor accent, so I apologise in advance. A lot of these problems do feature the kind of north-south divide that we've got going on. And one example of this is the different ways in which we talk about food or what we actually call it in general. Where I'm from, we tend to call those bun things that you shove food in, that was a horrible description, um, bread <laughs> for sandwiches, yeah? We tend to call them bread cakes, not baps, not cobs, not tea cakes, not farm cakes. I don't know what any of that is. I can just about accept a bread roll, but what I'm talking about is a bread cake. Looks like cake, but it's bread. Yeah? Bread cake. Another problem regarding food is what you call your meals throughout the day. Up here, we tend to call it breakfast, dinner, tea. Now, I know Southerners, or just people not from around here, would probably say breakfast, lunch, dinner. But I have a question for you. When you eat your Christmas dinner, are you eating it at lunchtime or tea time? Because when I tend to eat my Christmas dinner, I eat it at lunchtime, aka dinner time, making it a Christmas dinner. Get what I mean? Another Yorkshire problem I have is my accent. Yeah. I have a tendency to abbreviate words which don't need to be abbreviated and just shorten everything in general. For example, I'm off to the shop. No, 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 no. I'm not going to the shop. I am not off to the shop. I'm off to the shop. Repeat after me. Moff to shop. Yep, yeah, break it, break it down. I am off to the shop. Moff to shop. In the time it takes for me to say that sentence as a whole, I could have been and gone then. I could have been and gone to get a pint of milk and some tea bags. In the time it's taken me to string out that whole sentence without shortening it down. Just, who's got the time of day? Who can be bothered? Yeah, other words which I abbreviate include shouldn't becomes shunt, wouldn't becomes want, and couldn't becomes... Yeah, you, you get the picture. That isn't a sentence that actually exists in the north of the UK. Don't just drop it, just get rid of it. There's no the, the, it's t. We just get rid of the, the doesn't exist. Not t Simpsons, the Simpsons, just Simpsons. Said Simpsons way too much then. I could just eat some donuts. What makes it worse is when I'm out the country because I find people in this country find it hard to understand what I'm saying like this right now I'm really trying hard not to drop words but it's pretty difficult so I'm just like think of the Queen Vicky think of the Queen but a few years ago I went to New York on a school trip that does not make me posh okay but <laughs> I went with my secondary school uh, when about 17 um, and we were sitting there, I don't remember what we were doing. I think we were in Times Square. And yeah, a few of us were just sitting there and this lovely American man, don't get me wrong, he was very nice and charming, came along and I'm pretty sure he was handing out leaflets for some play or something. And he just came up to us and as soon as we opened our mouths he could tell we were tourists. And it went kind of something like, oh, are you guys from England? Oh yeah, yeah we are. Oh, what part are you near London? Oh. No, no, we're from, we're from up north. Moth? Moth. He thought we lived in a place called Moth. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't actually know anywhere in England called Moth. He then asked, oh, up north, sorry, sorry. Is that near Sussex? No. No. No, no, it's not. No, last time I checked anyway. No, it wasn't. No, turns out we just had a friend from Sussex and um, he didn't know where it was either. To be honest, I don't really know where Sussex is, but I know it's not near me. 
Another problem us northerners and um, a lot of us Yorkshire folks specifically have is with how expensive things are when you're not up north. Now I'd just like a disclaimer here, I'm actually from Leeds so this is a bit meh for me because everything is really bloody expensive. Do not go on a night out in Leeds unless you want to be left bankrupt. Don't go to the main clubs because unless you're a student who can go between Monday to Thursday, you will have no money left in your bank. Just heads up. But us northerners do have the reputation of being quite tight with money. To be honest, I can't even disagree. I feel like I am. Not to the extent some are. My dad is the worst culprit for not wanting to spend as well as my granddad. Yep. But I don't know, I just do not want to be spending over £3 on a vodka coke. It really bothers me. I'm not a millionaire. Can we not be so expensive? And that's why Weatherspoons is my saviour. Come up to Leeds and if you plan on going a night out, don't bother. Just go to Spoons. I mean, there's Spoons all over the country and I'm pretty sure the price will be the same. So you know it's so dirt cheap. And it's amazing. Spoons is my lord and saviour, as well as Harambe. God bless that gorilla. Obviously, most of the points I've been making are quite jokey, so please, please don't take me too seriously. So don't take myself too seriously, so that'd be very silly. Hopefully some of you lovely people can resonate with what I've just said, unless you're not from Yorkshire or up north, and probably won't. But you might know somebody who would, so if you do, just let them know about this video and see if they agree with anything I've said and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Don't know if the camera quality will be any better with this video by the way. I don't know what I'm doing but most of my videos do turn out to be slightly on the blurred side. Not by much, it's just slightly out of focus so uh, don't know what to do to change that. I mean I always try and focus my camera before a video but I apologise if that's not the case. Bye! Oh god there's a fly. I am that unfortunate breed of northern where, although I will talk to anyone, don't get me wrong, sometimes on journeys I just can't be bothered to talk to anyone, right? And that's quite something to do, like you never go out on the tube in London and talk to people, that, that's just frowned upon, do not do, not do that. But up north, you'll talk to anyone, you'll just talk to anyone on the street, it's just how it works. Don't ask, it's just, we're just very friendly people. But sometimes you just can't be bothered to talk to somebody. I just feel really bad because I just end up being in conversations with people and I'm just half listening so I can't be asked. Does anyone else feel like that sometimes? Ugh. hope it's not just me. I also apologise in the lighting because the sun keeps going in and out and I don't have any of those fancy lights that some people do to film these videos. It's just natural lighting of the sun. Shining on God's own county. Possibly the cringiest thing I've ever said in my life. Winter is coming. I just had a thought. Why doesn't Yorkshire have its own team in the Olympics? Look at where we came in London 2012.